Hey guys, Mrs. PIB and I are going to look at a truck that's coming to our home. And uh, it's a 2003 Chevy Cat Eye truck. Kind of a cool day out here today. But uh, I got me a list here of all the stuff I'm going to look at and check out. But the guy's a really nice guy and uh, found this truck on Marketplace. So we'll just see what it looks like. I was looking for a, oh, a Colorado or a S10, but I think you might be surprised. This is a full-size truck, extended cab. So we'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. I, I never had extended cab before. I never owned, actually owned a cat eye truck before. So he said he would be here in just a few minutes, not not too far from us, and uh, hopefully he can find our home. It's about the same color as this car, this 2005, 2005 uh, my wife's making me put on a jacket. I don't ever wear jackets. You don't wear a jacket. Oh. Anyway, uh, that's what we're doing. So I'm not going to show the individual that's bringing the truck or anything like that. I just thought I'd show you when it uh, comes up the street. We'll see what it looks like. And here it comes. Not a bad looking truck. See y'all in a bit. Well, we wound up buying this truck. It's a 03. It, it's not perfect, but it's good enough for my wife and myself, Mrs. PIB. I've never had a truck like this before cat eye truck i don't know what i said previously but might be repeating myself uh, i bought it from a good christian man and we took it down the road drove it and uh it's got uh leather seats got it has a i think it's two hundred and twenty two thousand on it uh, it's a five three uh runs good shifts good uh i my wife is attracted to this right here, having some extra room here, and I didn't know this, but uh, you can pull this cord and this seat folds up. Uh, it's in pretty good shape to be, let's see, 03, what is it, 20, 20 years old? Yeah, 20 years old. And uh, if you didn't know this about me already, I've never had a new vehicle in my life. And to be honest with you, I don't want a new vehicle in my life. Uh, they're, you know, they're too expensive and all that. But this one, uh, I kind of like this feature right here where you can turn the passenger side airbag off. I like that. He said it had the premium sound system. The windows work. I mean, everything works. Checked it out. You know, cruise, all that air, you know, everything. I'll kind of show you around the truck a little bit. It's a... Uh, well, y'all's probably seen bunches of these, but uh, uh, my wife, you know, let me start off by saying I sold the 93 Ford Ranger because it was a stick shift. And my knees are bad. So this is going to fill the spot of the Ranger, the S10 Ranger. I love that truck. Had it for 20 plus years, but you know i'm 66 and my knees are not the best in the world it's got this bed cover on it that i really like i've got to do a lot of cleaning but that's okay i mean that's kind of fun for my wife and myself this bed cover though i think it's going to really uh come in handy i i, I like it a lot so far, so good. I might get me some new tail lights for it. These are kind of, uh, I guess you'd call it separating. I'm not really sure. I've never, like I said, I've never had one before, but I'll fix that. Put some new tail lights in it. And, uh, you know, just kind of spruce it up a little bit. It's got some aftermarket wheels on it. That's another thing Mrs. PIB was attracted to. And uh, six lug, 
So it's okay. I like it. Be be fine. If I ever run across a set of original wheels, I might I might grab them. But who knows? Might get some paint and uh, paint this to match the truck, like I was going to do on the 07 Silverado truck coffee. Uh, it's got a cracked windshield, which I'm gonna I'll get that fixed. It's a uh, got leather seats like I said some people like leather some don't my wife likes leather and I know it gets kind of cracked up but like I said it is 20 years old I don't see any cracks in the dash I mean I might have to touch up a few spots here but it's 20 years old it's been used as a truck so it's got new shocks on it he put a new uh him and I both were calling it a carrier bearing on the drive shaft new carrier bearing I guess what you call it. I, I think they have a different name for it and he told me what it was, but anyway, it's got a, oh, I meant to show you this too. I'm trying to do this video now because as we have it, it's gonna change. It's got the vents in the back seat. Pretty nice. Oh, I didn't even open this up. I don't know if it opens. Oh, cup holders. Hey, that's pretty neat. Y'all's probably, y'all's probably laughing at me or whatever. I just kind of fool with square bodies most of the time. But uh, now, you know, I got this. Every time my wife and I got out in that, in that little 93 Ford Ranger, seemed like we'd always load it up and there wasn't any room to uh, do anything. I mean, you'd, you know, stop at the store, you get something. It was so small that, uh, you know, it'd be kind of hard to get anything inside, you know, you know, groceries or whatnot. So, yeah, I think it's going to, I'm hoping it's going to be a good truck. Uh, we'll just see what happens with it. I'm cleaning it up. Of course, it's cold today, and I can't believe I have a jacket on, but it's cold today. So, uh. Yeah, this is it, a 03 Chevy Cat Eye truck with 222,000 miles on it. But I called, I got to tell you this too. I called a bunch of friends. I called uh, Brian and uh, that's GM 1038. He's got one of these. His is four-wheel drive. I was just wanting two-wheel drive, which is what this is. But uh, he said they're good trucks. I called Tim Dixon. I called Corey that works for Tim Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop. And uh, they, every one of them said that, that's a good, that they're good trucks, you know. And he said I got another thousand miles to go on it before it's time for another oil change. So that tells me that he's kept up the maintenance on it. So yeah. Anyway, uh, you probably see some more videos on this old truck, and uh, we'll just kind of go from there. I just now seen this little dent here, but that's no big deal. It's It's been used as a truck. I think he told me about that too, and I forgot to look, but it's no big deal. Anyway, as long as it runs good, drives good, stops, I'm pretty good with it. So, here we are. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, let me know what you think about these trucks. I mean, some people like cat eyes, some people don't. To be honest with you, I mean, I don't care. As long as it runs and drives and stops and it's paid for, I'm good. I mean, my expectations are not as high as others. I mean, either you like them or you don't. And, uh, I mean, I like it fine. No big deal. But, uh, yeah, here we go. i got to go get insurance on it and tag. So, I'll end the video here. You're watching Primer is Best. If you'd like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Also, I'm on... Uh, Facebook, Primer is Best, and Instagram, Primer is Best. Don't forget my YouTube shorts uh, on YouTube. Check those out. Got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget, and I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. If you'd like to subscribe to both my channels, I would appreciate it. Sure does need a bath, doesn't it? But it's it's this is the first day it hadn't rained, and I'm not sure it's not going to rain again. So, <laughs> whew, I live in East Tennessee. 
So expect rain at any part of the day. Wasn't supposed to have none today, and it's already rained once and dried up. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. God bless y'all, and uh, I hope this is going to turn out to be a good trap. I'll catch y'all in the next one. See you later.